Yes. I do. Well, I do, all the time. I spend long periods of time with it off, like um, in the bath, or when swimming, or... Uh, Only when dealing with water? What? Is he some kind of hydrophobe? Who, Tyrone? Oh, is that his name? Uh, yeah. Uh, and he's afraid of water? I know what hydrophobe means. I didn't think he did, Aunt. He just takes a really long time to dry, so I'll take him in the pool once, and there goes your whole Saturday night, alone in the bathroom with a hair dryer. <laughs> oh, you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I, you don't have to be. Good, I'm not. I think it's sweet how much you love your puppet. I don't love my puppet. Okay, then how much you like your puppet. I don't like my puppet. How much you need your puppet. Uh, oh, hey, don't leave. Stop making fun of me. I'm not. I, really, I'm not. I call the Lion King. I think it's cool. Are you sure you're not making fun of me? I'm sure. Because I know it's not cool. It is. You don't have to patronize me. I'm not. <laughs> I like it when you make him sing. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, you want to see something? Um... You'll like it. Yeah? Uh, I think you'll like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. See, I'm going to New York with you. You know, Buck Harris, the Yankees manager, gave me a job as coach as long as you're on the team. If you're the coach, you must know all the players. I certainly do. Well... I've never met the guys, so you'll have to tell me their names, and I'll know who's playing on the team. I'll tell you their names, but you know, it seems to me they give these ball players nowadays a very particular name. So you mean funny names? Well, let's see. We have on the bags who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Mm hmm That's what I want to find out. I say, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. They're going to be the coach? Yes. And you don't know the fellas' names? Well, I should. Then who's on first? Yes. I mean the fellas' name. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first baseman. Who? The guy playing. <laughs> <laughs> who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. I just did. Who? Yes. I'm trying to get along with people better than ever because we hate each other so much that I'm trying to understand different political points of view and different cultural things. It's, it really is kind of sad the way we hate each other. We're so divided. You don't have conversations with people anymore. You have arguments. I'm right and you're wrong. You're right and I'm wrong. You don't have to have facts. You just make shit up and apparently after a while it's just true. <laughs> and it's really kind of scary because I don't know when it happened and I don't see it getting any better. And it really makes me kind of sad. But every once in a while, some little thing will happen, some tiny little thing that, that sort of restores your faith in everything. And this happened to me a while ago. I, I found myself with a group of strangers, people I wouldn't recognize if they were here tonight. They, they wouldn't recognize me. But we were all in this situation, and we encountered a common problem. And without even talking to each other, we all came together, we solved the problem, and then we went our separate ways, and it was, wow, that was great. It was early in the morning, I was waiting to get on Highway 50, and the metering lights were on. So it's like 7.30 in the morning, they're just letting on two cars at a time, and there's like 20 cars all backed up bumper to bumper. And this one guy comes from the back, and he's trying to nose in the front. And this whole group of people, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Catholic, Protestant, Muslim, Jew, we all worked together, and we did not let that son of a bitch in. <laughs> <laughs>